Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting. Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires. Vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Hi. Hey there. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Come on, it ain't like they're running away from you. Makes you feel alive, don't it? Sticking it to the man. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money in wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shot out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but she can handle a firearm like a Marine. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. That ain't right. Trevor, we was just getting in the good bit. Hey, where are you going? When in doubt, take him out. slower than molasses on a cold day. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. 
Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever saw anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Hellfire! <laughs> Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Varmint's always... Jesus! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, uh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think 
I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! You fuck you fuck you Trevor it's business that wide-eyed idiot was mine it's business fella you want to discuss it we're at the farm Ernie Earl Walton Wynn Dale Doyle Daryl Dan all of us start writing those names on tombstones cuz I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. Dumbass. <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred fruit? Beaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. 
but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. You got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you. for you I'm gonna kill you You're my take man. over time you mother Get your own fucking business! I love oh. this shit! This don't look like a larger operation to me. O'Neill's! How about a merger, you pricks? You want to see competition in the marketplace? Stop him in his fucking tracks! You assholes! Time. Get that motherfucker out the house. You bleeding asshole. Hey, fuck you. Go home. The motherfucker's in the house, boys. Crap, he's heading for the basement. You ain't getting it to last. Oh. 
escape him upstairs! Shit! He's in the lab! Don't come any closer, all right? You win. You can have the contract. We ain't got the ambition. Gas in a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. Smell those fumes! Yeah, you've only yourselves to blame. Mmm, <sighs> you smell that? You disrespectful pricks! Get my eyes checked. This car's gonna be parked outside your house. Oh, by the way, that's entirely your fault.
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? <laughs> Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay. Stopping on the way. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost. Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to well send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Jumping nice? Like flowers or a cake? Shut up. The Lost Camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place.
Now you got bombs and got pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these bricks. Sit tight, little buddy. I'll try not to get killed. I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Wait here. Don't get killed. Don't be long.
I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts to these pricks. Can die here. Come on! I can't believe he came back. He ain't gonna do us again. This time we're gonna ice him. Fucking punk. Now we don't gotta look for him. Whew. Now that that's over, let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. Can I go, okay? No. I heard about the banging and screaming. Look, I got knock the guy's kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? And a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, key. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please, don't turn me into anything! I just want to be Wade. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. 
I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tr... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh! Get you get! Get you get! So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that? Woo again, again. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So this kid, he could fly planes. Signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, Silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha 
did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. Keep it straight now. It's a rag up here. See me at the club tomorrow. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. Ah. 